Hello everyone, we are here again to share with you God's Word. And I'm all excited because I have something to tell you, an event that happened with me and my kid uh, some 10 years ago. 10 years ago, David, my son, was only 6 years old. And I walked into his room and he was crying. He was sitting in front of the computer and he was with a control playing uh, a video game and he was crying. I said, why, why are you crying, David? And he said, I can't manage to go to the next level. I'm, I'm just losing every time. I can't kill this guy and I don't know what to do. And when I saw him crying over that, I wanted to laugh. And I had to really struggle to not laugh at him because I had to understand that for a six-year-old, that was a big deal. For me, it was nothing. It was, it was nothing. So I sat in his bed and I said to him, do this, do that. And I coached him through that level. And he did exactly what I told him to do. And he went on to the next level and then to the next level. And then he ended the game. He was all happy and he was hugging me and it was awesome. That was in the morning. At night, I was going to pray. Just my normal, usual prayer at night. And I was praying and I started crying. I was crying over a big problem that I was facing. And I was telling God, I can't handle this anymore. This is too hard for me. And what are you going to do? And I'm losing my sleep over this. And all of a sudden, I heard clearly in my heart the voice of the Holy Spirit saying, Son, do you remember this morning when you walked into your son's room and you saw what was, what was happening and you wanted to laugh at your son's problem? Do you remember that? He said, yes. And Jesus said to me, I'm almost, almost doing the same here. And I said, why? And he said, because to me, nothing is impossible. You can handle me a dictionary and I will look up the word impossible. And I will not never ever understand that. Understand this, son. Impossible is for you, not for me. So I was shocked because I, I had to understand that at the same time, time that I wanted to laugh at my kid managing this simple problem God was also looking down at me and saying he's making a big deal out of nothing and then I had to do the same thing that I did with my son I said Jesus okay I understand please sit on my bed and tell me what to do let me tell you this Jesus will not get the control from your hands he wants to teach you how to make good decisions how to equalize your mind and how to reassign and reaffirm your faith in him that was just what i had done with my son david in the morning god wants you to go to the next level and he wants to help you he wants to help you but to him <laughs> nothing is impossible he feels like laughing at our problems, not because he's mean or he doesn't care, but because it's so little for him. It's so little. He gave us his only begotten son. What could be bigger than that? What could be worse than that for God? He created all the continents and the seas and the skies and everything. What is a problem for God? Nothing is. So many times we come crying before him. God, I can't go to the next level. This that I'm living, that that I'm living is just so overwhelming. And God wants to laugh. He wants to laugh. Because he can do all things. He just blinks. And everything is vanished, vanishes. You have to understand this. Jesus wants to help you to go to the next level. Do you want that? Do you want that? Father God, I bless everyone. And I pray that everyone hearing me now 
we will see the big picture and we will stop crying over something that you will do easily. Help us to understand that what is impossible to us is completely possible to you. I bless everyone watching me in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 May God bless you. Send this video to people who understand English and also use this video to practice your own language in English and be a blessing to a lot of people. God bless you all.